Yeah, today I'm playing The Bard's Tale. It's an ARPG. Yeah, it's an old school game, but they redid it. Yeah, I had this one a long time ago as well. And I, I picked it up in the... I think I picked it up in the winter sale. I've just had it on the back burner um, for a while. It's a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter than playing uh, Diablo... Th uh, or just Diablo series, because it's pretty intense. This is a bit more of a humorous kind of game. Um, yeah, anyway. Let's jump into a new game and go from there. You'd like to hear a new story? Oh, so very well. Would. Where shall we begin? Uh, charisma, just whack that one. <laughs> I guess he has got to be charis charismatic. He is a bard. Right. The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. There you go. A high vitality will increase the bard's health, making him more difficult to defeat in battle. I love the narrator in this game. Here we it go. Had come to this at last. One man, a poet and a rogue, with no friends to speak of, no one to mourn his passing, should it come to that. Even those beside him are no more boon companions than bond servants, summoned by sorcery and song, as cold and indifferent to him as the light of a wandering star. Swift. And not that long ago. A simple man he was, with a quick wit and a sharp tongue, an eye for the lasses, and a talent for keeping one step ahead of the law, come to Houghton to play his tunes and make his way. He found himself standing outside the Drunken Rat, a public house owned by the widow Mary McCrary. The bard readied his instrument, and prepare to ply his trade. A rat! There we go. You drunken lots. Get off your backsides and kill it. I'll save you, fair damsel. What a strapping man you are to be saving me from that wee beastie. I happened to be wandering by when I heard your cries over the rumbling of my empty belly. You aren't hurt, are you? No, but aren't you the sweet one for asking? Say, I've an idea. If you'd be willing to do a little job for me, I'd give you a good meal and a warm place to lay your head for the night. I'd be only too happy to handle <laughs> anything you'd like to heave my way. Then it's a deal, <laughs> for it's a wee rat problem I've got in me cellars, and if you could do away with them, I'd be ever so thankful. Rats, you say? In the cellar? How cliché of you, love. But I'll forgive you this once. You'll need a bigger sword than what you've got, in case you run into trouble. Oh, and, uh... My sword is quite big enough to handle any <laughs> troubles you might have. Awesome. Right, okay, what's the controls? W, S, D, and A. Who's this bloke? Press F to speak. Hey, I understand your hesitation, stranger. There isn't enough ale in this town to get me to go down there. Then again, I'm a cowering sort. That rat is not going to kill itself. Get down there and earn a meal for once. Well, for someone who says he's not afraid of rats, you sure are procrastinating. If you are afraid, you can tell me. I won't have any interest in speaking with you any further, but you can tell me. <laughs> All right. What are you, a man or a mouse? Get down there and Mary may have a go with you. You wouldn't want to be the only man in town she hasn't had a go with, would you? <laughs> oh, this bit. I think there's a little song here. Beer, 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 beer. A long time ago, way back in history, when all there was to drink was nothing 
across the sea. And along came a man by the name of Charlie Watts, and he invented a wonderful drink and he made it out of hops. Hey, he must have been the man below the Sultan or a king. Down to his praises we shall always sing. Look what he has done for us, he's filled us up with cheer. Lord bless Charlie Watts, the man who invented beer, 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 till you hear, hear, hear. The drunken rat, the aching drum, and told his pub as well. One thing you can be sure of, it's Charlie's beer they sell. So all you lads and lasses, at eleven o'clock you stop. For five short seconds, remember Charlie Moss. One, two, three, four, five. Hey! He must have been a man of all the sultan or a king. Come to his praises, we shall always sing. Look what he's done for us, he still must up with cheer. Well, bless Charlie Moss, the man who invented beer, 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 till you hear, dear, dear. A little of the bushel of hopes you steal around with your stick. The kind of lubrication to make your engine sing. <laughs> Fifty pints of Walpody will keep away the quacks. It's only eight pence a penny and only six in tax. One, two, three, four, five. Hey! It must have been the number of the Sultan or a king. Unto his praises we shall always sing. Look what he has done for us, he's filled us up with cheer. Lord bless Charlie Moss, the man who invented beer, 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 till we hear, beer, 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 beer
I'm offering you a bit of song and magic that'll bring you back in one piece. Great. So now the rat gets dinner and a show. If it's so bloody powerful, use it yourself and save me the trouble. Would that I could. But I'm not a man of action like yourself. <laughs> so do yourself a favour and take a little charity when it's offered, my boy. Done. Show me what you've got. Achievement. Before you Thunder head down there and face team. that huge rat, I'd like to be sure that you know your business. Would you like me to teach you a few wee things that'll help you get the best of any fool? Right, how do I kill this stupid rat? He's gonna kill me. Does that work? Charge! There you go. <laughs> Holy shit! Nice. All hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane who's bravely made the cell. How about you tell the story and leave the sarcastic patronizing to me, okay? <laughs> Run away again, did ya? Go back to where you came from and leave the fighting to those who've got the guts for it. I've plenty of guts, my lady. Which is why you needn't trouble yourself about that rat any longer. You mean it's dead? Oh, thank you. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Save it for the half-wits. What you can do for me is best done in silence. You knew what was down there. You and all the rest of your tartan-clad trash. <laughs> so how about less chatter and more chow? And be quick about it! Right away. I enjoy a man with a quick tongue. I'll see you get the finest room in the inn. It's the one right next to mine. So the bard headed up to his room to avail himself of the pleasures that the inn had to offer. That was quite a night. I'm afraid you almost made me late to open in the bar this morning. Oh, that strange friend of yours is waiting for you outside. I had to chase him away. He was unnerving some of my regulars. See you later, love. Very impressive, young man. I wish I had the guts to stand up to the wife the way you stood up to that rat. But of course, she's a bit more vicious. <laughs> I'm not listening to the drunk song again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you killed a rat. What do you want? A medal? You killed it. You killed it. The fire-breathing rat in the cellar was the best practical joke we had. Now what are we supposed to do to entertain ourselves? What did I tell you, lad? You hooked him and cooked him. Thanks to that song you gave me. You're welcome, boy. -o. And should you be looking for another one like it, find the trow in the fairy haunt woods. Hmm. But keep your wits about you. They're devilish clever. The trow. With magic by the pound. A trow that elves on I think. Scrap of honesty. Mmm, sounds a little dangerous to me. I don't care much for trow. I think I'll pass. Come now, boy. What's a little danger when compared to power? Didn't that little trick I showed you help you get in good with the Widow McCrary? If it's a skin you're worried about, I will wee trinket here that'll keep you safe from harm. This amulet was made by a powerful sorceress. It can summon her spirit to heal your wounds in battle. You'll need adder stones to provide the necessary mystical power. If you like, you can even use multiple stones for even greater effect. Here, laddie. Try it out. What's that, like a healing? It looks like it. Who is she? She's beautiful. Beautiful. I'll take the amulet, old man. 
And, uh, what were you saying about a trail? Find him in the Fairy Haunt Woods. Bannerfeet be his name. He can teach you magic enough to impress any lass. Who's this? You've come looking for my bow, Ogun, haven't you? Of course you have. But it's gone he is, for he's the one. The chosen one who free the fair princess from cruel bondage. And what do ye suppose that means to a poor old woman like me? Why? Everything, that's what. For he's promised to come back, my organ, and take me away from this awful place and give me a proper house with glass in the windows, floors of wood, and a larder so full we'll never know hunger again. So, when you see him, tell him his mother loves him. Alright. Is that like a side mission or something? All right. X's map, I think. Let me have a little look. <clears throat> that map is terrible. That's the map. Okay. Do we go this way? Who are these people? Can I talk to them? Hey, stranger! New time to talk new! I'm late for a date with the Widow McCrary! <laughs> Them. Yes, that widow gets Excuse around. Excuse me. There's boob jiggle physics on that woman. That. <laughs> What's the news in here? Oh, blacksmith. Nice. Well, now you must be the bard that everyone's been talking about. The fellow with the spider made of lightning. It's honoured I am to have you in my shop, sir, and happy to facilitate all your arms and armament needs. Swords, bows, or armor, everything here is first rate and for sale. Terms of cash in advance, in full, all sales final with no letters of credit, layaways or IOUs. We do have <laughs> a buyback policy. If you buy it, don't bring it back. Ha <laughs> ha. So look over what you want and I'll be happy to cover the finer points of any item I have in stock. But remember the golden rule you break it, you, you buy, buy it. it. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Treasure map. Four grand. I've only got 74 gold. I could use a new melee weapon. This is where we have our close combat weaponry. When you're battling a foe up close and personal, you don't want to skimp on your instrument of battle. In most cases, not the best man, but the best weapon walks away to tell the tale. Yeah, not worth my time. Not worth my time. Let's have a look at your armor then. It's a fact. A warrior's only as tough as his weakest armor. Plenty of folks have bought the cheap stuff, but none of them have been repeat customers, if you take my meaning. Nah, yeah, not worth my time. See you, old man. Don't have any money yet. Sheriff's office. So you're the fellow what has been chasing through Houghton with your rats and lightning spiders, eh? All I'm after is songs and silver, and I've no mind to break the laws in getting them. That's fine. My job is to be keeping the peace, collecting the taxes, and fending off the Kunal Trow. Respect that, and you're welcome to stay in Houghton as long as you please. Otherwise, you'll find yourself in my jail. Good tonight. Is that a well? There's a dog. Dog whisperer achievement. Well, now, you're a spry little thing. I could do with a friend. Care to throw him with me? Oh, Jack Russell. What's it down there? Some sort of hole. Who's this bloke? Sorry! Oh, hold on a bit. Sorry! You've been bumping into folks all over the village. Enough is enough. I think you owe me an apology! All I'll owe you is a face full of knuckles, if you take that tone with me again. You will become very familiar with this tone, you aimless oaf, for I demand an apology, and I will get one. All right, that's random. What do you want? If you're a thief, you'll get nothing from me, for I've only these old bones and a heavy heart. Sorry, Grandad. I didn't expect to find you here, or frighten you when I did. 
I'm only looking out for a bit of silver to line my pockets. Of course you are, young sir. And I happen to know how you might find some. For it's a cruel bugbear that's been keeping the farmers from observing their rituals. And us farmers have to perform our rituals at the Houghton Cairn. Without them, the crops won't grow and the weans go hungry. I know what it means to be hungry, and worse it is for a child. So, a fair price for a fair piece of work, and it's a bargain. Ah, bless you, my boy. I knew you for a game lad the moment I saw you. As for the bugbear, you'll find him in the cairn. When you're done with him, come back here and we'll pay you what we can. What the hell is a bugbear? That's some sort of mythical beast. Let's find this bugbear, shall we? Come on, doggy, let's go. Oh, what the fuck? He almost killed me, what the hell? That was uh, unexpected. Alright, we made a save. Oh shit, there's a trap there. <laughs> Thus ends the bard's tale. <laughs> Alright. He's in a pop air, isn't he? Get out. Oh shit. Got a few hits on him. Whoa! I'll rotate the camera. Can I break this stupid thing? This trap? I guess there's buttons on the floor. I can't see them, but they're there. There's a trap. What? Don't kill my dog. He's here, isn't he? Is he gonna come out of the wall? No. Oh my god, I'm dead again. Thus ends our tale. Wow, ah, okay. A happy ending like this always warms my heart. <laughs> a happy ending always warms my heart. Uh okay. Right, how do I There was a way to bring up spells, I think. Where is that? There it is. S. Um Hang on. S and then what does that mean? Fucking uh Heal me. There we go, perfect. And my dog get healed. Sweet. If I die again Get out. What the fuck, dude? If I die again, I'm not gonna bother with this area. It's kind of annoying. I don't think this is a bad idea. There he is. I've got... What the hell is a bugbear? Oh my god, he stunned me! No, he's gonna pull a trap! <laughs> Jeez. This guy's an asshole. Come on, come get me. Come off it. Ow! I press space a fucking blocks. That ends the bard's tale. Oh! Maybe this game's more annoying than Diablo. Shit. Okay. I think those little brown markers are the mission areas on the map. Off we go. Fairy Haunt Woods. Who's this bloke? Hey, this forest is a great place to hunt. It's teeming with grouse. If you haven't got a bow, you should get yourself one and try your hands at hunting. Interesting. It's filled with grouse. What have we got over here then? Oh, wolves. Oh my goodness. Help me, little dog. 
Damn. The bard, having slain the random wolf, found that it had digested not only the contents of a small treasury, but also various household goods. <laughs> uh, wait, am I, am I reading that correctly? This can't be right. You'd be surprised. I find all kinds of things inside these beasties. Do I ever tell you about the time I killed this rat and out popped an entire chest? Well, I'm just going to skip those passages in the future. What? That's a major source of income, you cheap good-for-nothing horses. <clears throat> and so the bard continued on his journey. OK. Hello there. Oh, is he like a goblin? Well, now, who have we here, eh? He must be the fella who's been chasing all over, putting the touch on the locals with that shocking beast of yours. Shocking beast. You must be Banafi. I've been sent here about a tune you might be willing to part with. Now, it just so happens that I don't know a wee song, and if you do me a little favour, I might be willing to part with it. All right, let's hear this favour, then. I've got a friend in the forest jail by the name of Kettle Swart. Spring him free for me, and you'll get your song. You don't have to worry about any guards at the jail. They've been chased off by the Kunal Trow. I can't help you with their patrols, but you can get through the door with only a password. You'll need to say fiddle snuff to the Colonel Trow guarding the door to be let in. <laughs> fiddle so, snuff. just get him out and then come back here and I'll teach you some magic. Fair enough? Done. Just have that song for me when I get back. I'm no man's errand boy. To show my goodwill, I've even opened up a quick way back to town for you. It's right over there. So that's where Mr. Fiddlesnarf got his name from, Fiddlesnarf. What are you doing here when Kettle's <laughs> still in jail? Off that's too you. funny. Uh... What's the password? Sure do, that'd be fun. Fiddlesnarf. Fiddlesnarf. I can't believe my buddy stole that name and used it as his game tag for as long as I've known him. That's pretty funny. So, Benefit must have... Hey, who are you? You aren't supposed to be here! I hope we're meant to go in here, but... Oh, he did say come over here, didn't he? Can I hit that switch? No. Which one of you bloody heathens is Kettle Swart? Banafeet sent me here to set you free. I'm Kettle Swart. No, he's not. I'm Kettle Swart. Like hell, I'm Kettle Swart. To hell with them. I'm Kettle. What's it matter which one of us is Kettle? Set us all free. We'll never convince you which one of us are telling the truth, so <laughs> just flip those switches in the order I tell you, and it will open the doors. Yes, the sheriff has these doors rigged with some bizarre six-switch combination lock that only he's supposed to know. But we've been watching closely, and we know the order to flip them. Already I've been reduced to flipping switches by order criminals. Great. All right. Is it this one? No, no, no. No, no, no. No. no, no, no. All right, this one. Pull that one. Pull that, pull one. that one. All right, well. Pull that one. It might be that one. No, not that one. Fuck's sake. This one. No, not that one. Hmm. It might be that pull one. Pull that one. Oh, no, not that one. Hmm. It might be that no, one. No, not that one. No, that won't help. Hmm. It might be that no, one. No, no, no. This is not helping at all. <laughs> no, that won't help. Uh, that doesn't seem There right. you go. Pull it and let us free. Oh no, not that Oh my one. god. There you go. Pull it and let us free. Oh my god. No, oh, what's wrong with you? We told you exactly what to do. Do you want us to draw you a picture? Yeah, sure. You draw me a picture, I'll draw your blood. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't aggravate him. Right, is it this one? No, no, no! No, 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 no! 
Pull that one. Pull that one. All right. Pulling it. Now what? Pull that one. Pull that one. No, not that one. Hmm. It might be that one. Pull that hmm. one. It might be that one. Is it this one? No, not that one. I think that's it. Are you sure? Someone's going to die in a minute. Pull that hmm. one. It might be that one. I'm guessing it's this one then, is it? Yes, that's the one. I think that's the one. All right. This one? That's the one. That's it. Oh, no, it isn't. Try another. What? Well, you're getting it anyway. Screw it. Did that work? Oh, my God, they're all dead. Whoops. Great. I'm stuck in this hellhole, and the only person that can free me is the village idiot. <laughs> I can't argue with that. If I'm here trying to free the likes of you, I must be the village idiot. It's not like I'm asking you to solve the mystery of flight. All brawn and no brain. The Widow McCrary may date you after all. Hey, now. That's a low blow. More to her <laughs> than to you. Look, just try and listen to me this time. All right. Please don't die. Is he going to be free or is he going to die? There we go. See how easy that was? Yeah, <laughs> I haven't had this much fun since I was almost barbecued by a giant rat. I don't know why you did this, but I'm most thankful. It's a long story. Maybe you'd like to have a seat while I tell you about it. In the middle of a coonal trow infested jail. Let's get out of here before I regret what I've done. More than I already do. Damn it. Why does everyone sound Scottish in this game? Oh, including the orcs. I guess these are orcs. Curse you! Now here's a piece of hurt that'll let you swagger down any street and never want for safety. The Claymore, or as I like to call it, the Emperor of Evisceration. It's three <laughs> cubits long with three quarter length parallel fullers, a barrel cut two handed grip and balanced at the hilt for better leverage and short cuts or long swings. This weapon definitely covers a lot of ground, and what it lacks in speed, it more than makes up for in pure stopping power. Now, it just so happens that due to a slight accounting error, I'm overstocked on this particular item, so I'd be willing to let one go for a ridiculous price. He's a good salesman. He goes into a lot of detail. I like it. Wish more games did that. There you are. Remember me? I'm the patient villager you owe an apology to. Never. Oh, yes, you know, I am sorry. Sorry I didn't pummel you earlier. <laughs> Stop calling for reinforcements. Stay dead. Okay, where is this guy? He's up here, and he? He's got a song for me or something, so... Oh, thank you. I wagered Sheriff Rocky that Kettle wouldn't be locked up for more than a day. I sent the Kunal Trow to free him, but they decided to take over the jail and claim it as their own. I thought for sure I'd lose, but now you come along and win the bet for me. Well, a deal's a deal. So, here's your song. Nice. The heroin tune. Sweet. Well, now, fancy running into you again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's all a big coincidence. <laughs> I see you picked up some more magic along the way. If it's even more power you'd like, then you ought to pay a visit to my brother, Boov, in Kirkwall. Your brother, eh? He anything like you? Oh, no. He's not really my brother, you see. 
but a member of my order. Of course he is. Now, lad, you've only benefited from the knowledge I've given you in the past. That's what worries me. Seek out Bove in Kirkwall. I'll speak no more of it. Good luck to you, laddie. Let's try and kill this stupid thing again, shall we? The stupid bloody bear bug. Oh, you little shit. Don't touch my dog. Let's get in and kill this thing. At least we have an archer this time, I guess. Come on, bug bear, where are you? Bear bug, bug bear. <clears throat> Ugly little bastard, aren't you? Bitch. That's annoying he stuns me. God, the stunner's obnoxious. Get out of here. Bugbear Slayer. Bugbear, not bear bug. Bugbear, yeah. Please don't kill me, please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. <laughs> I'm bleeding. I think you broke me arm. Ah, is that a tooth? I just spit out a tooth. Oh, not another tooth. Oh, look at me. Look at me. No, don't look at me. Oh, hell. Do what you want. I don't care. Go ahead and look. I'm not a bugbear. I'm just a dirty old bastard running around in a <laughs> smelly old rug with a bucket for a head. Go ahead. Take all my silver. I don't need it anyway. I was saving it all up for a date with the widow McClary until she found out I'm still living with me mother. Now she won't even speak to me. You know what else? I'm 42 and still a virgin. <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh, just kill me, please. <laughs> just get it over with. Oh, that's awesome. You're just pathetic. <laughs> oh, I love that. All right, old man. It's done. A blessing on your head and all your <laughs> tasks, young fella. We should have figured it was old Vintner's pulling that stunt. We passed the hat and collected all the silver we could. Here's some pieces for all your troubles. Take them and be well. 75 gold is all I got for that. What a rip off. Hang you for a meddling fool! It's one thing to be frightening the widows and killing the rats, but you've up and set loose that pig stealing, backstabbing cattle swart! Well, laddie, he's taken to hiding in the Neversdale forest, and you're the one that's going after him. So you just head out of town and bring him to me. But don't come back here without him! Alright. Oh, we've got like a. What is that? Oh, what? I got attacked because I stood there. Okay. Hello, beasties. What are they meant to be? Pigs? Okay. Is that Kirkwall? Maybe. Enter the Nethersdale. Oh, it's the forest, is it? Welcome to Chubnik's Magical Waterway Transportation <coughs> Service to the future. Are you serious? Not the first time I've been asked that question. Yes, you heard right. Chubnik's Magical Waterway Transportation Service will, for a modest fee, whisk you not just across the raging Chubnik River, but also transport you into the future. How far into the future? Uh... That depends on how long it takes to cross the river. Oh, I get it. Nice scam. Nice scam. So you're going to take me across that little stream for some ridiculous fee when I could quite easily take your boat and cross myself, right? A wise man you are, that is for sure. But wrong you'd also be. I, of course, have taken magical precautions against such an occurrence. 
any attempt by someone other than myself to use this boat, and it will sink into the river. Not until it reaches the deepest portion, of course. Only the tiniest fee is required to garner my services. Fifteen silver. Seems like a fair price. I do get a bit squeamish aboard ships, though. Ready to board? Um, aye, aye, Captain. Off we go. Now keep your arms and legs inside the vessel at all <coughs> times. You aren't pregnant, are you? No, of course <laughs> you're not. The raging Chubnik River and surrounding Chubnik Valley contain over 1,000 types of flora and fauna. Let me point out a few. Oh, be careful as you disembark. And thank you for choosing Chubnik's Magical Waterway Transportation Service. We know that you have a choice in your waterway transportation services, and we value your patronage. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Right, then. Prepare to die. I am Organ, the Chosen One. Nothing will stop me from my quest to save the princess and drive the evil from this land. Have at you! Oh my god! He's got an arrow through the head! Jeez. And what have we here? Another chosen one? Off to save the princess? Brave talk for someone who picks on craved half-wits with more bravery than sense. I assure you that you will soon join him. There you go. Daft young fool. What was he on about? Some sort of princess he was going to rescue? <laughs> Chosen one. <laughs> he must have been out of his mind. The bard, of course, was overcome with sympathy for the poor deceased young man. <laughs> By the way, your mum says hello. I'm <laughs> sure it's that guy. With a great deal of skill, or perhaps a tremendous amount of luck, the bard disposed of the murderous trowel. With a bit more luck, he might even come out the other end of the forest without an arrow coming out the other end of his head. Always the optimist. I think there's a song coming up, possibly. Always bad luck to be you. A chosen one of many is it true? When you think you're full of luck, in the boat you'll get struck. <laughs> oh, it's bad luck to be you. Now, oh, in came young from the farm, and trying to save the princess from all harm. Equipped with just a stick, and a head made out of brick. His rabbit's foot failed as a charm. <laughs> oh, it's bad luck to be you. hilarious yeah it gets games full of random stuff like that what have we got here then there's that bloke we set free from jail come and get me you meandering moron kettle Quit cowering up there like the frightened rodent that you are. Come out and fight. Ah, your mother's a furbug and your old man's a trow. You don't want to make me come up there. Save your singing for the sheep, you crooning coward. 
Oh, Come on, you pansy. <laughs> uh, you. Come on, you pansy. All right, let's fight this guy. Damn, he's got some fists on him. And punch my dog. Oh, you bastard. Did that with my eyes closed. All too easy. Down you go, you bastard. Come on, down you go. Fucking have it. There we go. Sweet. No more. No more. Don't kill me. <laughs> I was only kidding about your sister. I'll come with you. Put your hands behind your back. No, what? You won't be trying any of them preversions, will you? I'm making sure you can't run away again. Or, if you prefer, I could just cut you off at the knees. But you're the one who let me go. And now you're taking me back? Are you bored out of your skull or just wrong in the head? Ow! Stop hitting me! <laughs> Would you prefer I start stabbing you? Now shut your mouth and come with me. With Kettle in tow, the bard moved on, hoping to avoid the trial and bring his prisoner back to Houghton. What is that? Shield? Oh, nice! We've got a shield. Fantastic. Finally. What's that? New rune. Ooh, that looked painful. Uh, that's a stupid ferryman. There he is, you little bastard. Welcome to Pisky's magical matter may transport, transport, transport thingy to the future. Oh. Excuse me. I don't smell anything. Wait, you're the buff, right? My brother told me about you. What did he say? Oh yeah, he said the barf. Hey, cattle, what are you doing here? You know, Farf is looking for you. Farf rhymes with barf. <laughs> I can make up a song about you too. Listen, I, uh, <laughs> I don't have time for your ramblings. Perhaps you could just take me across the river. Taking the barf across the river, that was it. Hey, that. Now, what was the special barf deal? Seeing as I'm in a bit of a hurry, and uh, you're not in much condition to sail, why don't I just take that ferry across on my own? Oh, can't do that. Too danger dangerous the Pisky River is for the novice. But since you're such a nice person, I'll take you over for free. Just don't tell my brother. Shh. Keep your arms in your legs. Let's get this road <laughs> on the ship. Keep your arms in your legs. <laughs> you know, as the captain of this ship, I can legally marry you two if you want. <laughs> now oh. be careful as you get out, because the dock is made out of hickory wood and it can get slick if it's wet, which makes it a very slippery hickory dock. Oh. Well now, what have we here? I don't know you, but Kettle, my clandestine companion, when was the last time we saw each other? Well now, let's see. I was on my way to Houghton and... Oh wait, I remember. Yes, it was when you pilfered my prized possession, my exquisite eagle charm. It wasn't me, Fnarf. It was this beggar right here who stole it. I was bringing him back to you when he knocked me over the head, took it from me person, and tied me up. Hold on a minute. I never saw this thing before in my life. I found it in Kettle's house when I came to take him back to Houghton. <sighs> the perplexing problem is... If I were to let you go, my fear of friends here would consider me a coward. You, you see, they, they might even get into their noggins the notion that they could take over this bloodthirsty band. So, we're going to bash your brains and purloin your property. Nothing personal, you understand. If there's one thing I hate, it's Colonel Trow with delusions of grandeur. Quick, cut me loose so I can fight! Like hell, you'll bugger off as soon as I do. Are you daft, man? Let me loose or they'll kill us both! 
All right, Kettle, I'm trusting you. Oh my goodness. Let's get rid of those stupid archers. Holy crap. Give my regards to the sheriff, you simpleton. <laughs> oh, shit, he Kettle, ran away. Of course, took the opportunity to run away. Oh, shit. I've got to go see a guy about a gelding. So, I'll suffer you to survive for now. When we assemble again, you won't find yourself as fortunate. <laughs> Despite the bard's warm and shining personality, people continue to run from him like the plague. <laughs> Perhaps he would one day learn that in order to keep friends near, a man such as himself needed to keep them tied up. If only I could find a sock big enough to put in that mouth of yours. <laughs> Though Fnuff had escaped, the bard had the unmistakable feeling that they would meet again. Of course, that's how these things always work. They just stayed around and took their beating like a man for the first time. They'd save me a lot of trouble. Just and so the bard arrived in Kirkwall, a peaceful and quiet town. The place seemed oddly <clears> familiar, <throat> and he would soon learn why. I don't believe it. I truly don't believe it. Do my eyes deceive me? One can only hope. So much for peaceful and quiet. Oh, my eyes speak the truth. My love has indeed returned. Although you vowed to return to my arms, time had cast doubt upon my heart. It's been so long since that magical night. I'm truly sorry, milady, but I'm afraid you've mistaken me for someone else. Someone less handsome, I'm sure. I'll get that all the time. Oh, surely you jest. That moonlit night, in the barn, up in the loft. You said you loved me. You said it was the most passionate moment you'd ever experienced. Wait, wait, it's coming back to me. <laughs> you must forgive me, for I have battled many men, faced many perils to return to you. A lot of men, many blows to me head. Of course I remember you, my love, and I'm so happy to be with you once again. Oh, my love. We'll share a lifetime of memories. Father will be so pleased. You must come round to the farm to meet him. I'm certain he'll love you as much as I. More love than I deserve, I'm sure. Alas, I must leave you now to seek gifts to present to you and your father. You'll soon know how much my heart yearns for you, <laughs> I promise. Until we meet again, my love. And therein lies the loophole. 